Hey there, Aries. Welcome to my channel. And thank you for tuning in to the energies and influences coming through for December 24th to the 30th. This is a general weekly reading, so please only take the portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe and like and comment because it really does help bring your vibrations into the future readings. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading, I've included a take note moment. I hope you stay tuned in for that. So, okay, Aries, off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and I've meditated over these cards just for you. And your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background of the week. It's the basis of the matter. This is a really good card to have for you, Aries, concerning your money. This is the King of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This could be a wealthy, mature man. If your rising sign is a Earth sign, this could even be you. Or it's someone you know that's around you. The King of Pentacles could even be a father or a boss. But it's someone who loves money and riches. And they're very happy to collect as much as possible. This person is very clever in financial and business areas. So much so, it's like they're a financial wizard. They're not corrupt. They earn money through hard and patient effort. This is someone that's a dependable, solid citizen. They're kind to others. This indicates security. You may need to express your needs and undertake what should be done and just do it. This person is disciplined. They take only few risks. They have their eye on the bottom line. This is a thoughtful, sensual person who treasures their comfort. They're generous and calm and patient. And they're a very good family man. This card reminds us to try to avoid letting yourself become dependent on your money or the opinion of the outside world. Caution slows up the decision-making process, but the delay often proves to be a wise move. You must be careful to become not too resistant to change. Your second card, it's the energy crossing over your path. Sometimes this can be a challenge. The Four of Pentacles, more earth energy. This is holding on. Your focus is on stability. You're doing okay now. Try not to hold on too tightly, because when you do that, you block the flow. The Four of Pentacles. This is being defensive and in your comfort zone. This is conservation. Maybe you're conserving your money. This is a fixed attitude sometimes that blocks those new opportunities. You're not chancing anything and protecting your money and your boundaries. Let loose a little. Try not to be too stubborn and hold on too tightly. This is nothing ventured and nothing gained. This person, if they hold on, too tightly he risks nothing, nor is he going to gain anything. This can apply to anything a person holds dear. This can sometimes indicate being a miser with your love and emotion as well as money. This is advice to go with the flow, because your foundation is firm. Your third card, and this is how it affects you, this is your attitude. Number nine of swords, air energy. You're worrying. Worrying enough that it might keep you up at night. The nine of swords. This anxiety, it is unfounded. So you need to talk about the problems you bury. Speak up. Otherwise, it could bring ill health. All these thoughts raging through your head at night bring regrets and nightmares. 
You know, worrying really is pointless unless it drives you to take action. Talk to someone. Write in your journal. It's therapeutic. You know, your fear is far worse than the real outcome. So put two to two together. Look for contradictions around you. And strengthen your resolve and your patience. And try not to feel so down by temporary blockages. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The three of pentacles, more earth energy. This is a lucky card. This is success through teamwork. There's some nice critics around you that are going to teach you how to do something better. It's okay to listen to them and to ask for opinions. The three of pentacles. This is support. This is using your knowledge to earn money and make a profit. This is an early foundation being set in the early stages of progress. This new project is going to bring you luck. This is your priorities are being set and your plans are being put into action. You're going to bring integrity and ethics as well as vision and skill and spiritual values. So find tasks that are going to support and develop your abilities. And you bring light into the darkness and reveal new ways. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issues. This is what's unseen. This is great. Number 10 of the Mage Arcana in their Rider Waite deck, The Will of Fortune. This is fate and destiny, a new turn of luck. It's going to be turning in your favor. And this is going to be a surprise because it's really unseen right now. The 10, The Wheel of Fortune. It's unexpected turn of luck. This is putting your plans into action and getting results. It's a change of fortune for the better. It's a gift from life. It's, it's a karmic lesson to be learned here, so change is inevitable. And you're going to become unstuck. It's something that you've already set into motion, and now the doors are going to open, and good luck and fortune is going to flow in. It's a new opportunity, a new chapter starting. This is accepting the course of events, and it's going to provoke, promote your, your growth and advancement. And it's a reminder that every period of intense activity is followed by a time of rest and inactivity. And another card that reminds us to go with the flow. Thank you guys. Now stay tuned in and leave me a comment. I really do love them. Take note, this is key. When you find yourself asking questions about life, that is a sign you're having a major breakthrough. Whenever we ask questions, you know, the deep wanting to know the answers, we then attract the answers in a very way that we can understand. The truth of life is written on the others, the Akashic records. For us to receive answers in life, we must first begin to ask. Hey, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light. Thanks for watching.